We're back on this Thursday edition of your Coffee Break on the HAN Network, and I have a special guest joining me, a return guest, Michael Dominic of Make-A-Wish, Connecticut. And we're here, Michael, because Wishes in Flight campaign is underway. The HAN well Network and Make-A-Wish have teamed up on this. We have, and we're so grateful to be a part of this with you guys. Um, this is the first time we're launching it, so it's our first, hopefully, you know, yeah. annual. Yeah, um, so basically the concept is 70% of our wishes involve air travel. Um, and that this year will be well over 150 kids um, wow. and their families. So um, people can donate their unused airline miles on participating airlines, and we can use those to offset our travel costs, which is our biggest expense every single year. So. Tell me where some of the Wish Kids want to go. And I know we have a bunch of photos just of some of the great wishes you've been able to grant. We do. I mean, over the years, it continues to get more and more incredible. Uh, the most popular travel wish is to go to Walt Disney World. What of little course. kid doesn't want to go to Disney? Um, but we've got kids traveling internationally now, too. Um, young girls who want to go see the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Uh, we have a young, we have two kids going in the recent future that want to go uh, take the channel from London to Paris. Uh, kids that want to go out to California and meet their favorite movie star. Um, kids that want to go to Alaska and be a part of the Iditarod. I mean, I, we've wow. literally seen and heard it all, um, but with that be, uh, comes an expense um, with airline travel. Right, and airline travel must be one of the biggest expenses. It is. Um, so like I said, 70% of our wishes will involve air travel, um, even if it is I wish to meet. A lot of times you have to go to where they are to meet them. Yeah. Um, and we send the whole family, which is an average of four to five tickets per wish. So 150 wishes times four to five. I mean, we're talking about 600, 700 airline tickets a year. Wow. And that's just in Connecticut alone. Wow. And so airline miles, something that maybe people don't even realize or pay attention to how many airline miles they have. So how can they donate those? It's simple. We try to make it simple because mm -hmm. we know it's, um, it's a huge help on our end and we want to make it easy for the donor. Um, so you can just visit our campaign site, which is ct.wish.org slash HAN network. Um, and right there is a step-by-step -step direction. Um, if you have United or Delta miles, we take them right there through our portal. If you have JetBlue, Southwest, or American Airline miles, it'll direct you to their websites. They have their own systems set up, but they still donate miles back to Make-A-Wish. Now, all of the children that you guys grant wishes for are dealing with serious, life-threatening medical issues. Mm -hmm. Is that right? That's correct. And it is a common misconception that our kids are terminal. It's not mm -hmm. necessarily the case. Um, it's for kids with life-threatening conditions, like you said. Um, but with, you know, Make-A-Wish has been around for 36 years, and uh, Connecticut's been around for 30. And um, with advances in medicine, and we like to think we play a, a, a small part in this too, a lot of our kids go on to beat their condition and they lead strong, healthy lives. Which is amazing. And you know, we should say yesterday on our show, CT Pulse, we had on two moms who both of their children have serious seizure and medical issues. And both of them had been granted wishes by Make-A-Wish CT. And they just went on and on about you guys and how wonderful you are. And they talked about kind of the struggle with a child with serious medical issues, how stressful life is. It is. And it takes, it takes the whole family off course. I mean, so the child's diagnosed, and obviously your heart goes out to the family, as it will always. Um, but with those hospital stays becomes juggling schedules so that the other kids, you know, maintain a relatively normal life. And with that comes parents never seeing each other. And it's just, it's such an emotional trauma on everybody. So when you can say, what is this one true wish? And it is the child's wish, but then when they get back or whether they have a playroom put in, you constantly are hearing about how much it meant to the brother or the mother or the father. It was just a week away. We got to forget about doctors and medical treatments and things like that. And we got a chance to be a family again. And no matter how many times we hear that, it's, it doesn't get old. It's not the same because you're hearing it from a different family and a different experience. And it's just, it's really, it's warming to know that you played a small part in, in their lives during a difficult time. Yeah. And we should say the readers of all our HN Network community newspapers are going to be able to hear some of those stories because throughout the month of April we're going to be running some stories about some of these kids that have had these wishes granted. That's true. That's why I didn't want to get into too much detail on some of those wishes because <laughs> yes. you'll be hearing about some of them and they're from the towns uh, right around here that, and we were so fortunate to have this opportunity to share those stories through, you know, through the HN Network. It's been a great partnership and we're excited. Now Michael, how many wishes are we going to grant this year? We are on track for 240 wishes in Connecticut wow. uh, versus 209 last year. And in the six years I've been here, that's up from 125. So the wish counts keep growing, which means the need for support keeps growing. And, and that's why we're so grateful to be here and have the opportunity to, to reach out. That's great. One more time, tell people how they can donate their H A N uh, The HAN Network Wishes in Flight campaign, and it's at ct.wish.org slash HAN Network. Thank you so much, Thanks Michael. And we're us. so excited about this campaign. I'm glad. <laughs> All right. Well, we are going to take another break. When we come back, John Kovach is going to join me, and we're going to take a look at the front pages of our papers this week, coming up after this. Join the HAN Network and Make-A-Wish Connecticut to help make travel wishes come true for local kids with life-threatening medical conditions. Donate your unused airline miles to the HAN Network 
Wishes in Flight campaign. Over 70% of wishes granted involve travel, and your unused airline miles can help make kids' dreams become a reality. Plus, once you donate your miles to Make-A-Wish, they will never expire. Donate your unused miles and help the HAN Network share the power of a wish.